we took you to Boston and what a blast it was exploring this amazing city. After months of idle love, it felt so strange to experience the hustle and bustle of city life again. The historic streets of Boston were alive with culture and energy and we've just been soaking it up. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We are saying goodbye to Boston. It was a very nice place, very nice history. And we are saying good morning to a brand new adventure. There is not really much wind. <laughs> We've got the main up, we have the Gaudi up. The wind is basically 100% from, from a stern. Just coming from that side. We also have the engines on, but now we can save some diesel. Um, and uh, one of the things is, <laughs> it's never just that easy. Uh, yeah, we can sail at three knots and we've done that many, many times. But this time we need to get to the, the Cape Cod Canal when the current is going down. So, going south. And that's why we're kind of like rushing it again. Um, to get there, have the engines on, but <laughs> now I put the main on on this side, so it kind of like try to direct or push some wind into the into the Cody, but you can see the Cody is not happy. The main is fluffing around, also not happy. We just entered Cape Cod Canal again, so. <laughs> And this time we have a very favorable current. If you can see there, we're doing eight knots on one engine. We only have one engine on. And I normally configure it so that on this side I can see the, the depth and to the side uh, zoomed in. And the reason why I want to see the depth is I would like to stay on this side of the canal so that faster vehicles can, or vessels can go on the, on, on the left side, pass us on the left side, or at least like, like a highway. So, and for me, staying on, oh shit. Staying on this side means I need to check the levels very carefully. Going into Cape Cod Canal, look at this. There's a huge current going through here. I think I better hold on now. But look at this, looks like a washing machine. This boat in front of us is just like drifted around. So I don't know what Sisu is going to do. I hope we don't drift into that marker there. Oh, Captain's changed his mind. Good, good, good. Let's see what he does. Yeah, we are entering. Creepers, wow. creepers. Here we go. We have never seen so many motorboats coming past us. I'm going to try and, and film, the, film behind us now once this car is passed. And that's supposed to be a no wake zone. Look at this. And there's even a sailboat with a sail up out there in the channel. <laughs> I'm going to try with the big camera quickly.
Pietru is pretty awesome. She's doing the next video in the Vinci Resolve. Pretty new environment for us. <laughs> Very new. But at the same time, she's also cooking stuff. We found some lamb. Ooh, sorry. They're all now forked up. Forked up. For, so forked up. Forked up. But look at that. Just looks brilliant. Okay, end result. <laughs> Here is, <coughs> and Pedro also did some, some what? Boer pompoon? Butternut. Okay, butternut. And cauliflower and white sauce. So nothing green. I don't know what. Yeah, what the so I don't have like. anything like that in my plate, but it is delicious. So this lamb, what leg is this? Leg, leg, leg of lamb. Leg of lamb. Perfectly, little potatoes perfectly. And a nice sauce. You have to have a sauce. Yep. Traditionally, we will have rice with this as well. So you've got something to eat your rice with. Oh. Yeah. South African Buddha sauce. <laughs> Oh, okay, and it is delicious. So we are now here at Onset Beach, the little dinghy dock or the public dock. Looks nice. Let's go find a grocery store. So this is the little town of Onset. <laughs> we are seeing so many little towns. And this is about the whole of the town. And here's the groceries. And the ATM. So we are stocked for the next couple of days. Yeah, we're going to go. And we need to set out the storm. There's a huge cyclonic, a cyclic storm coming. Yeah. So we <laughs> will be at anchor somewhere. It's, <laughs> it's very cold, but look, uh, take it, take it, there's two pieces. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, there's more, so I need to go down more, but it's only in our small ones. Oh my word. And it's, it is effort gold, frickin' gold. <laughs> And I need to try not to lose your your only bread knife. My only serrated knife. Couldn't use that engine the whole trip here from Boston to here. So that guy was right. He just cut his own line. This was the line that he he cut off. So he knew there's a piece below, and he warned me. And I thought I couldn't see a toggle or anything or a, a buoy. And he, well, <coughs> yeah, he knew about it. His own line. He cut his own line. So now you need to defrost. Yeah. <laughs> this is Nantucket Harbor, or not Nantucket Harbor, but on the, on the western side of Nantucket. And it's not easy to get here, so as you can see, we are anchored in 2.8 meters of water. 
and it was because we had that blow that was coming through it was we we our highest that we record was a gust of 38 knots but over here we are protected all around so it's a very shallow bay and in three meters of water or basically yeah, three meters of water we had out 32 <laughs> meters of chain so but look at how small this place is and you have to get out of here so we this is the bay and there's lots of sandbanks and so on so we have to get out of here through this little canal and you cannot go over there so you have to go through here then through there and then you can go out or come in so it was tricky and now <laughs> we need to get out of here and I can see the tide is going down so we need to get out of here fast not that it is a big tide that is the other thing so the tide station is you will see from the highest is 0.68 to the lowest is so it's basically 60 centimeters that was not an easy anchor lift and the reason is the wind is pumping and it is shallow and the tide is going out so the tide is going that direction the wind is coming from this direction not that there's a huge tidal stream but I cleaned my speed lock and it still doesn't want to work hmm. something's wrong I think there's a forest down there so the water don't work there hmm. we are approaching Nantucket we had a blow the last two, three days, but now the wind's completely from the other side. So this is pretty rough going in here. We'll see if there's space inside. Otherwise we have to come back out again and go anchor behind that breaker wall there. But it is exceptionally shallow there. Fast cars, movie stars, party on down the street. With Mary Jane, good cocaine, plenty down there to keep. Double down, throw some dice, take off now. Don't think twice, but hey, don't you want to play? Baby, go on. It's a little bit windy here, yeah? but this is the town dock, dinghy dock, here yeah, at Nantucket. <laughs> it's very busy dinghy dock. So Peter, don't wake them up. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so they say Cape Town is that direction. <laughs> but this is now, I think, the center of town. Or cobblestones. Hello. So that's where you need to go. Is it? <laughs> joining us again on our adventures we couldn't have done it without your support we appreciate each and every one of you that's been following our journey and cheering us on if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned on our sailing adventures and if you know someone who would love our content please share it with them we can't wait to bring you more exciting content so stay tuned for the next episode I got the champagne I get back, get on track, jump on, grab this thing, double down.